Sunday the 22nd of March was our first Sunday in lockdown, the first time in living memory that we were not able to gather together as a congregation to worship God on the Lord's Day. This was due to the restrictions in order to try to suppress the rise of the coronavirus. That first Lord's Day, I started a series on Psalm number 91, a psalm that I entitled a psalm for perilous times. I set a challenge for us all that first Lord's Day of lockdown, that first of all, we would read Psalm 91 every day, but also that we would try to memorize as much of Psalm 91 as possible. Now this video has come as a result of that, because one of our young people, Adam Kennedy, suggested it would be a good idea to put together a video compilation of various folks from the congregation reading various verses from Psalm 91. I want to thank all those who very willingly, very ably, uh, recorded themselves reading various verses of Psalm 91. I also want to thank Adam for all his hard work putting this video uh, together. I think you'll agree he's done an excellent job. So in order to start uh, Psalm 91, Isaac will now introduce it and then one after the other will listen to the recitations of Psalm 91. The Bible says in Psalm 91 He that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. I will say of the Lord he is my refuge and fortress. My God, in him will I trust. Surely he shall deliver thee from the snare of the fowler and from the noisome pestilence. He shall cover thee with his feathers and under his wings shalt thou trust. His truth shall be thy shield and buckler. I shalt not be afraid Only for the terror by night, nor for the arrow that flieth by day, nor for the pestilence that walketh in darkness, nor for the destruction that wasteth at noonday. A thousand shall fall at thy side, and ten thousand at thy right hand. But it shall not come nigh thee. Only with thine eyes shall thou behold and see the reward of the wicked. Because thou hast made the Lord, which is my refuge, even the Most High, thy habitation. There shall no evil befall thee, neither shall any plague come thy thy dwelling. For he shall give his angels charge over thee, to keep thee in all thy ways. They shall bear thee up in their hands, lest thou dash thy foot against the stone. Thou shalt tread upon the lion and adder, the young lion and the dragon. And shall thou trample under feet. Because he has set his love upon me, therefore will I deliver him. I will set him on high, because he hath known my name. He shall call upon me, and I will answer him. I will be with him in trouble. I will deliver him and honour him. With long life will I satisfy him and show him my salvation. 